Good morning. So I've got my laser 100 engine on the stand again today. And I know in my last video I said that that was probably going to be the last video I posted of this. But I changed my mind because I found some interesting information about this engine. Um, so in the course of the five to seven runs I've done with this engine, I've changed plugs several times. And I think I've come to the conclusion that the problem with reaching peak power for this engine is because I had a leaky head and not a leaky head here, a leaky head at the glow plug. With several different plugs I tried, as I rotated the prop through, I could hear a hiss. And on the last video that was not done on, or in the last run that was not on video, I could actually see fuel coming from the base of the glow plug. This is a situation very similar to uh, one I had over a year ago with the YS F120 engine. Uh, so that's a bad thing. What I've done is I've tried several different plugs and washers and tried to find a way to mitigate or seal that leak. I've looked at the threads in the opening through as much magnification as I have here and I don't see any damage. But sure enough, I can hear the leak and if I were to spray alcohol in there, I could see the bubbles. So what I've got in here now is a brand new Inya number no. three plug and I put some Permatex Moto Seal around the base of the gasket, the copper gasket, in an attempt to hopefully maybe seal this up. As I rotate this prop now, I don't hear anything, but as the engine heats up, things are going to expand and that's probably when the leakage would get the worst, is as it's been warmed up. The other thing I'm doing differently now on this run, which I've done in other runs, just not on video, is I've got a brand new wood, it's a top flight, uh, I'm sorry, Zinger. 15 by 610 prop. Now the 610 means that it's not a constant pitch. It starts out at 6 and ends at 10 or vice versa. So it averages out to be about an 8. So basically it's a brand new 15-8 prop. And it's reamed properly, doesn't have the slop. I'm also going to be running FAI fuel for the first time in this engine. So this engine's going to have, or this run is going to have some interesting things. I've got my tack and my temp probe over here also and I've got the temp probe here on the front of the engine and yes that's where I wanted it. Uh, one reason is because trying to feed it through these pushrod tubes and get it tight enough uh, that was about the best location I could do it so I don't want to hear about oh you shouldn't have put it there because I really don't care that's where it is and that's where it's going to be for this run. It's just a data point anyway. So new engine number three plug, new 15 by 610 prop, Omega FAI fuel straight from the bottle and we'll see how it does this time.
Okay, so as you can see, in this video it's probably going to be a little long. I actually took the exhaust off midway through to see the difference in RPM between the exhaust being on and off. And it looked like I gained maybe uh, two, 300 RPM. So it could still be that, um, as John suspected, this exhaust has got a baffle plug. But I still wasn't reaching the same uh, peak RPM that it should have been reaching. Uh, I did not see any kind of signs of leakage from this glow plug at all this time, which is a good thing because before the last run I saw you know, fuel coming out there. I don't see any evidence of leakage there this time. Although I might still hear a little bit air leakage, this carb is leaking not not fuel but there's just a whole bunch of spent oil on the idle needle which that may just be blow by from these push rod tubes the base of the push rod tubes I replaced those gas or those o-rings didn't seem to matter still leaks like a sieve there this engine just has issues so obviously this is not indicative of what you would get from laser engines if you were to buy a new engine. I'm absolutely certain that a brand new laser engine would be perfect. This is a used engine from 1995 with an unknown history. I've uh, cleaned it up, didn't replace the bearings here, but I did go in and replace the bearing on the timing or the pinion gear the other day, yesterday morning. That's been replaced, so there's no slop there. I've done as much with this engine as I can to make it run optimally. And I just don't think it wants to do it without the investment in uh, maybe a new carb, new exhaust, those types of things. And I'm just not really sure I'm willing to put any more money into this engine. But it's been a good learning experience. I would not hesitate in the least to buy a new laser engine at all. They're incredible. They're nice engines. They're super easy to work on and probably robust as hell. This engine, I think, has had its better days and I am not faulting laser engines at all because of how this thing performs. So anyway, long video, but thank you for watching.